Okay, in order to show you the solution, what I did was to create a new folder and then copy the files from the previous video. It is the same code. So now let's go back to the diagram. We have already implemented the first part. So this, this uh, first part of the diagram. So this is the code for the first part. Now we are going to implement the second part. So the first part is the wrong way of doing things. The second part is the correct one. Let's go back to PHP Storm. As I said, the idea is to have the logic and the state inside this user class. The logic for now is inside the index and the state inside the user class. So we want to have the logic and the state in the same class. What I'm going to do is to copy this code. I will go to the user class and I will create a new function and call it is active. And paste the code there. Re replace echo with return. And you just have to say, if this is active, then do whatever you have to do. I will also change this from public to private. So at this moment, we have the state and the logic inside the user class. All we have to do in this index file, the index file, remember, is the caller. All we have to do is to call is active. Let's go back to the terminal and run this. And as you can see, of course, I have to echo. OK. As you can see now, it says user is not active. However, there is a change in our source code because we went from this to this. Now, the index file, which is this, uh, this square right here, it is just telling the user class to do something. What do we tell it to do? We tell it to tell us if the user is active or not. Okay, so the user class now has the logic, it has the data, and all we have to do in the index is to tell it to tell us about this object, right? So we just want to know if the user is active or not. The advantage of this code is that now you have the state and the logic in the same place. You do not have the logic in multiple places anymore. So this class can be easily uh, changed uh, in, the, in the future if you want it to change it. However, the index file, it is just calling it. There is no change to do here anymore. Because imagine that you might call this isActive function in many places. Now, you do not have to write this if else anymore, you just have to call isActive.